Sometimes when I look past the wall, I think that I can see something out there. Do you? No, I don't. Maybe you need to look harder. I am looking. I'm just not seeing what you're seeing. What well, like? Grandma. Yes? Calm down there. Okay. What do you think of Allegiant, which is part three in the Divergent series of movies? All about a bunch of young people leaving a, oh, uh, not so good Chicago. Destroyed, actually. A destroyed Chicago. Uh, cities, cities in rubble. Uh, headed towards what they hope to be a better future, but maybe not. They don't know. So what do you think? There's a big wall between them and the rest of the world. Well, somehow and, I think they'll get through the wall, but... And Shailene's character, Tris, and her, um, better half, number four. Played by and, Theo James. And he... We found out. He is, uh, definitely a hero type in, in the story. So what'd you think? I enjoyed the film. I have, uh... Some reservations because the, the storyline, Tris is very, very bright. She's been the leader of this group uh, up till now, as you said, this is part three. And sort of a leader. She's a reluctant leader. Yes. They always seem to be reluctant, these leaders. <laughs> yes. But she has been the leader, uh, showing... Uh, intelligence and um, compassion not just for her group that are working for a better life but for the others that they come across in the stories part of the part of my problem if it's a problem with the movie is it seemed um, I, got a, a, I don't know how to express it. You know, it was a, a, a different world we were exploring, yes. Yeah. Um, but I didn't feel comfortable in it. I don't know if that's the way Trish, Trish and her, uh, and Four and the others felt. I didn't, I just didn't feel comfortable in it. Or are they you supposed know? to be, though? Well, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, I mean, I think you can tell from the story. I didn't feel comfortable there. And they... Um, and did they feel comfortable? They were glad to see that there was more to the world than their destroyed city, which they were trying to rebuild. Although, they're, back in Chicago, there were these warring factions, you know, that were... There was no peace. But did they feel comfortable there? I don't think so. I don't think so. As the story went along. Yes. And um, who do you trust? Who, who are the good guys and the bad guys? I guess that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. How do you decide in this future world that it's uh, nothing like the world that was before? Who the good guys are and who the bad guys are? The only folks that they feel like they can trust are each other. And that is what I think has sustained them this far in the story. And the problem with the, the leaders in these different cities is that they yeah. don't trust human nature. They don't trust people to be able to get along with each other. They instead want to divide people or perfect factions, them. Or factions, yeah, they're not factions. they're not happy with people the way they are. And the new world that they found um, wasn't much different from that. That's it, the point. It had its factions. It, That's the it's point. The they were different from the Chicago they came from, where the factions were warring with each other. But it was the same thing. Rather than supporting each other and, and accepting each other, if you had flaws or not. The aims and goals were all yeah, the same. All the same. They've been coming out every year or two, so yeah. they're, they're, should, I think they're they're trying to get it done here pretty quick. Should should be uh, within our lifetime anyway. They're, One can only hope. I can only hope. 
uh, okay, I'm through with my dissertation, so yeah. what, what, what do you think of the film? Well, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I will say up front, my biggest problem with it is that it is not the last part. Uh, uh, that there is more. Yes, that again, there is another part. And while, again, I think that, that they can, you know, sort of stretch it out some uh, in, this, in this movie, uh, they didn't waste all their time, uh, even though they sort of stretched it out so they could make two movies out of the last book. Uh, they did a pretty good job of still making it interesting uh, without sort of spreading it themselves too thin. Uh, I think that the of the three that they've had so far, this is actually the best one. Uh, the biggest problem is, again, this isn't the end of it. Uh, they, um, I think it's, it's improved with the extra budget that it's probably gotten. Uh, again, the special effects, as you point out, the set design, everything again is is really is really really nice, uh, and again is improved movie to movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I think also the uh, direction and the whole style of the thing I think was quite good, and they did a really good job. Uh, the actors again were all good. The leading actors and actress, they're really into their roles now. Well, they Shailene really Woodley are. is a very appealing actress. Uh, I don't know that they had a whole lot for her to do in this one. Uh, they had more for Theo James as four right. to do than, and than her. It's probably going to change in the last part. I would imagine she's going to be much more the focus in the last episode. But he did a really good job in this one. And his part in this movie was very important. Yes. Yeah, what, yes. He, what he was willing to do, and he did it well. So again, I was quite impressed by it. Again, the story was the story was good. Uh, again, the problem was it just didn't end. They they <laughs> they when when the, when the movie sh should have been sort of picking Winding up steam. Up. <laughs> yeah, sort of sort of picking up steam and reaching some sort of a crescendo. Even at two hours and fifteen minutes long, uh, it just you know it just didn't get there. And uh, you know what they had was good, but again, uh, they just didn't finish it. They should have finished it. Again, I think it's the best of the three, and I would recommend it. But it's not perfect by any means. What would I you say? I think that even if you have not seen parts one and two, that you can enjoy this film. You know, they're very clear from the beginning as to what the situation is. Uh, yeah, they're able to sort of get you up and going. Uh, you know there's something without really having serious them, yeah. going on in the opening yeah. sequences when they are executing people yeah. the, in, these, uh, in a struggle between the factions. Mm -hmm. and, uh, something really serious is going on. And... Uh, so they set up the situation for you, you know, this is a life and death situation. So uh, even if you haven't seen the previous stories, you know from the beginning that Trish and Four and her group are going to be really important in this, in this story that you just need to see. So then what is your verdict? Oh, I would recommend it, yes, even if you have not seen parts one and two. As Brian said, this is part three, and we're looking forward to part four. <laughs> Hopefully we will be able to review part four for you sometime in the future. Yes, I recommend it. It's not a two-thumb film for me, but it is definitely a one film. One thumb, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. I say it's good too. Yes.